Doctors on Talk Radio 1270. Appreciate you joining me. Finally, a politician who is willing to let it all hang out. A politician who is willing to put his name on something and not back down from the critics. Finally, a politician who is willing to say what has to be said and let the chips fall where they may. Who is this? This is a mayor in the U.K., He's the mayor of a small town, but I applaud him. We need more people that are willing to say, stand up and say what has to be said, and if you don't like it, too bad. He's not only said what has to be said, he's done what has to be done. He has created, in the municipal parking garage, for, okay. for this small town, special spaces. Not for the handicap. Not for pregnant women. Not for people that are driving fuel-efficient vehicles. Nay... He has created parking spots specifically for men. Really? Why? Not because he's trying to help the men out. Because these are smaller parking spaces, and he wants the better drivers. (laughs) He's creating parking spots for better drivers. Skip, I've got a uh, picture of the parking spot there. Describe what the the space, the symbol, which would normally be like the handicap symbol, what does it look like? Uh, it looks like the uh, universal symbol for the man, you know, with the circle. With the, the arrow in the that? arrow pointing down. It's on the, on the ground where you'd normally see that, and there's a little sign with one. It is parking spaces for men because <laughs> these spaces are smaller than the other ones in the municipal garage. And he said uh, they're harder to get into. He said, uh, unlike the 12 spaces that are already, the other spaces that are wider and well lit, they're closer to the exit. The men's spaces require the driver to pull in at an angle and avoid hitting the cement pillars, something that the women have had trouble with. He said they're an attraction for an ambitious driver. I think that's something lost in translation there. He said men as a rule are a little bit better at such challenges. Something tells me people are upset about this. I haven't heard of any backlash. I'm just... Are you okay? I, I'm just tearing up here a little bit. I'm uh, Doc. I, I'm just finally a politician who's not afraid to speak the truth. Finally somebody who said... Did, did you hear what he said? They're an attraction for... Any ambitious driver, but men are, as a rule, a little bit better at such challenges. Ambitious wow. driving. Hmm. To, to get it, no, they're better at the, the challenges yes. of squeezing into a small spot without hitting the, the building, without running into those cement pillars. Can you imagine Mayor Bing saying that? Governor Snyder? No. You know what they'd be doing? Hands off my vagina, no means no. They'd be doing all this war on women crap. That's what we get. We get people pandering. Women, blah, blah. Instead of saying, listen, men are better drivers, deal with it. We get the people that just pander to the women. The the president out there, we've got to create all kinds of legislation to make sure women are paid fairly, even though they're not paid unfairly. We got a politician that in a small town is willing to stand up and say what has to be said, that men as a rule are better at parking in these tight spaces. What do we get? What do we get here? Pandering to women. Instead of just saying, deal with life. Pandering. So why don't they make some spots uh, that are women-specific, too, that have an extra foot or so of space? Well, that, the other ones naturally are, because they had the, the women... Well, but you could take it to the other angle. you got the men's oh, spots, you got the average spots, and you got the, the female, female spots. spots. That's not, and you put, like two spots together. So you do it, you do it wider. The big spotlight. Uh, a big light. Um, like a runway with the flashing... Uh, you pad, you put those thick pads around any pole that's nearby, anything like that. Uh-huh. Um... Maybe maybe you have somebody stand there that say, "Okay, come on, cut it, cut. Wait, 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 wait. hold wait. it. Okay, hold it. okay, back up, back. Okay, now left. cut. Turn, Turn it to the left. To the left. Okay, now ease for. Hold it, hold right there. You have somebody that stands there and yeah, does that. That would be good. I think that would help them out quite a bit. Maybe you have uh, just valet park for women. Maybe you could just do that. That's true. So you could do women parking, which is valet. You can do the average parking. You can do the men's spot. Where you, you got to squeeze in because, as a rule, men are better at such challenges. And from Livonia, do you agree with uh, such sentiments? 
absolutely. Oh, no pixie dust for that guy. <laughs> I absolutely agree with him. In fact, when you were describing it, I thought, my neighbor, he doesn't even park in the street anymore. <laughs> That's what that because I back in and out three times, and he just smiles. Okay, like, see. I absolutely agree. You know what? Facts are facts. Look, the, the evidence is in. So, Ann, you would agree that you're probably not the best driver in Detroit? I'm, I'm... I'm aware to be safe. As far as, <laughs> as far as parking, you know, that's when they outlawed parallel. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was mm-hmm. thinking, I thought, you know, you should go to that next year's convention of those little ponies. The Brony because, Con? Yeah, because you could take, because I just, USPTO.com, mm-hmm. you can take your invention of pixie dust pheromones to there and <laughs> see what goes there and... I I may have to roll up there and uh, and check it out and film it next year. Let's put it on the calendar seriously and go in there and film it next year. I mean, I'd have to be in New Jersey for a while, but I think I can. I think suffer they put through. you on some sort of watch list if you attend that, though. I, have you ever seen the? I, I tend to avoid the um, men's at the Barbie conventions too. Barbie wait, 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 wait. There, there's men that I imagine there's some. Is is it but, common? But whenever I see a room full, I, I saw a room full of just men and. I said, there's no women in there, and he kind of looked like she's going to attack me. And I said, wait, I so, am, wait a minute, you've been to the Barbie convention. I passed by. Oh, passed by. I went the- to the Nazi bathroom, I have to tell you about that. Okay, wait, um, wait, wait, hang on, one thing at a time. So you uh, you passed by, but it was a room, there were there were a lot of was, men? It was, it was men and women, mostly women, but some men, they didn't look like they were picking it up for their children. That's a little creepy. That's a they little... were there. Well, what did they look like, Ann? They just didn't look like... They didn't... Well, you know what? They didn't look masculine. Oh, well, that's a bit and, of a shock. Um, did did they look more like Ken without any defining male characteristics? Yeah. <laughs> kind of <Yeah>. androgynous? <laughs> yeah. You know what it is? There's really... You, you just... You know, you just... I, they're senses. You just sense people. Did you did you know. notice the men uh, on top of uh, being interested in the little Barbie dolls? Were they particularly fond of Skipper? Were they? Uh... I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. but the room across the the, the uh, way was filled with men, and I was so glad. I said, I am so happy to see a room with just men. I just feel like they need a place to call their own away from the vagina monologue. People who are beating them on the head mm-hmm. and too feminizing them. I I just. I, und- I I understand, and I think we're in agreement on that. Thanks so much for the call. Appreciate it. You know, Skip, you brought up something. I, I think you're right. If you attend BronyCon or one of these, I think you automatically are on the sexual offender registry. I think so. I I don't want to say that as fact because I don't know, but I I think it's there's something to if it. If not, it should be. I think. Um, I think it's like that uh, minority report. Is that the uh, for future crimes? Yeah, exactly. For every with, with the ball drops with the name on it. Yeah, exactly. I think for everybody's safety, if you go to BronyCon or as a man, if uh, if you go to the Barbie convention as a man, just go ahead and put them on the sexual offender registry. Doug Thompson.